on this episode of the... Okay. Go on and say it. Eagle Talent. Mitsu Guy. Guys, it's been a couple days since I posted anything. And that's because we just got back from uh, going camping. And I'll show you guys some little highlights of what that was right now. Water trailer is on. Should be able to do a few laps. All right, so we're about 20 minutes in and we're already kind of in traffic. We're what? close at all we still have like about four hours to go yeah. think you're gonna take a nap while you're in the car yeah hopefully when you when you wake up and then we're gonna be there okay. yeah so we'll tune in back with you guys later on Scrappy here at the campsite. I'm gonna drive down there where we're supposed to be going. There's a lot of cars, which is pretty good, or a lot of dogs, which is pretty good. The water's right there. We got campsites right here, and we're gonna be camping up here. So we're gonna get our, our campsite set up. We are going to get some pizza from, I don't even know. John's property. Yep. Yeah, John's property. Yep. And see you later. Bye. Just pass the gas. Yep, if everyone's having s'mores. Royals watching movies. We got the campfire. Royals watching the movie. Yeah. Hey, that was some fancy footwork, Cooper. Some people do that. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Dinkle, you two want one for fun? Well, guys, it's the last day we're here. We're just gonna enjoy, it's like 7, 8.30 in the morning. Just gonna enjoy what we got going on. I didn't even bring a fishing pole.
charge this phone, this camera too. I'm supposed to have no more battery. And that's our campsite. Here's the dock. Taking a bath. Yay. And he has to wash. You want to say something to mommy? What? Hi, mommy. You're not gonna look. Hi, mommy. <laughs> and so, just going camping and reflecting on um, what is to come for the rest of this year. I'm wanting to, so for the Eagle Talon, what I'm going to do with Royal, I'm going to repair these headlights because they look terrible as well. I'm going to get a turbo kit for it and I have the transmission and the shifter linkage cables and everything and the shifter and all that stuff to be able to switch it over to manual, which I'm wanting to do. Um, that will... I'll, I'm going to try to do this before November because I want to try to take this with me as well with the VR4 to the DSM meetup in November in Arizona. So I want to try to have this done and switched over as well as the VR4 done and complete and ran um, just driven for a whole month of September or October just a whole month of driven no problems no leaks no overheating no nothing the last thing I have to get for the VR4 is the intercooler which I've just been saving my money up to try to get that it's, it's kind of the most expensive thing that I've had besides the ECU because that was about $800 which 
it's a brand new ECU, so I understand. So, regardless of all that, I'm wanting to switch this over to manual as well. Most likely put a turbo on there if it's not too big of a deal. But if anything, first, I want to switch this over to manual because I there's an exhaust on here and I can't really hear it without me with revving it with the automatic as well leo the legend okay i have the four-wheel drive that i invested in a long time ago uh i got it on offer up for very cheap there's all kinds of spiders on here i'm not even worried about that as long as i have it here and i have it that's the only thing i was worried about because this the, the uh rear diff and all that other stuff that could be hard to find but this is i needed this more importantly um and a transmission i would say this and the transmission would be the hardest thing to find to try to switch that gst into a, a gsx so when i probably in the winter so probably october november uh oh no december january february this is what i'm gonna be working on collecting all the other remaining parts to be able to switch this over to a gsx but in the meanwhile all i have to do to get this car running and good i already repaired that side panel or that door panel door handle is to get the uh rear fender fixed i already had a guy that he already cut this part out uh, for me and uh, i just have to go get it as well he's going to be do, uh, welding it on to this one and taking this one off so once that's good i'll be able to drive this car no big deal uh I, it's turboed and everything i've just been letting it sit here so i'm excited i have to get going on the vr4 and I have to get going on the Eagle Talon. I gotta do some switching up of the top of the cars. The Lancer, I'm not even talking to you guys about that because that's a couple, a year or two down the road. Um, that's something special. I don't even wanna tell you guys about that yet. I got a couple other things on the way. I have some merch on the way. I have some stickers on the way. I have some other stuff on the way that uh, I hope you guys like and hope we can make something out of this. I have a lot of extra time on my hands now. I'm not working as much, so I'm going to be trying to get these cars knocked out of here. I want to try to do the stuff that I'm not normally able to do while I'm working six days a week. Um, so, try to get these cars done. Try to take that Eagle Talent up to Arizona as well with the VR4. And hopefully, me and Panaz can make it there and safe and have a good time so what i'm gonna do next is probably do some switching of the cars to turn this uh, gst around to work on the back end and start putting some uh starting making it all together for this as well or i might switch these to start working on the transmission seeing what it takes to be able to get some of these i have to get new bushings like this because t this isn't these are the, the original bushings i remember because you can switch these out to get some titanium ones or some brass ones or whatever to make it a lot smoother see that just comes off like that so as well i'm probably going to start off with cleaning this cleaning all this out and, and painting it first because i have that paint from the intake for the VR4. So clean all this out, try to repair whatever I can that's in there. That clutch fork looks fine. Everything else looks fine. When I took it to the place, which was actually weird, they just sat, they just let it sit there for, I don't know, a couple months and didn't really do anything. And all I wanted them to let me know was, is this transmission fine in, all, in every gear? But they didn't even do that. So. I think there's a way yeah it's going in every gear 
so yeah that's it's fine I mean uh, I didn't really have any issues with the the guy that I got it from he said it was fine as well there was no issues with it the only he was gonna swap it anyway or take some of the parts out of it but he never did so I trust it I'm gonna get some new axles and yeah we should all be good or it might be take the same axles but who knows but I'm gonna get started on that Eagle Talon that's what I wanted to get started on this I'm gonna switch over there and that I'm gonna switch over here and then I'm gonna jack it up and start labeling everything and start getting things going make some more room over here as well my half garage half whatever this thing is I'm trying to make uh, is still not finished I want to finish it before winter I know that as well I have that motor out of the other or from this transmission I still have that motor as well I was thinking about building it up eventually just to get to know everything um, with this motor and paint it and do all the stuff I want to do it since it's out already so and it will be easy to look at this and that Eagle Talon and see what goes where and uh, yeah basically that so I'm gonna move these cars and then I'll probably start washing this thing and get it clean and we're still waiting on the call from the machine shop for my head to be done I still haven't heard anything that said that it was going to be this week sometimes and it's only Tuesday so just waiting for them just doing this stuff in the meantime so I'll be once the head gets done I'll go over there put that together the VR4 should be good with the timing and everything I'm gonna uh, call that guy back to just come and just facilitate to make sure we're doing everything right so then that will be done and then the next thing would be the Eagle Talon getting that that should take you know a day or two you know this shouldn't take very long so I've seen the the work I've done it before I just need to help and Randy's the perfect person to be able to help so that's what I'm gonna be doing and let's get started on all this other stuff tune in next time on the Eagle all right Eagle talent Yeah.